Thank you very much. Afternoon. Rafa, back to uh, Anfield. Eh, sorry, not back to Anfield. <laughs> <laughs> I should know that. If I say that, you will go, oh, you, know, you, da- you don't know where you play. <laughs> How much are you looking forward to the visit of uh, Liverpool, your own team? Yeah, obviously it's a special game for me. It uh, will be emotional because uh, so many years, so many good memories. Uh, still, uh, my family is living in Liverpool, so it's uh, my home. I'm feeling like a, a home here, but uh, the family is there. Uh, a lot of uh, positive, very good relationship with the fans. So, very good uh, memories, uh, very emotional, but at the same time, we will try our best and we will try to win. The relationship you've got with the supporters there is one that you'll take with you and you, you move forward with, isn't it? You guys are still in close contact and of course you're involved with the, the, the Hillsborough Foundation as well. Yeah, we have um, a foundation and a charity that um, we are working in the, with the local charities and also with the families, uh, still in contact with the Hillsborough family. So a lot of uh, connections, but um, it's emotional, as I say, uh, before, but uh, has to be... For me now, uh, I have to concentrate on Newcastle United, trying to win. My relationship with the fans also is uh, quite good. So then a lot of similarities between both uh, teams, both cities, and and uh, hopefully we can do well. And I wish them all the best after this game. You said that before, haven't you, that um, one of the reasons you came to Newcastle and decided to stay here is you could see the similarities of the, the cities Newcastle is, is similar to Liverpool. Yeah, the fans are very passionate and they follow the team, they support the team even when things are, are wrong. So, very similar. The city is also a city of uh, people that uh, they work very hard and they know what means to work very hard. So, then uh, a lot of similarities, uh, massive support for the team, uh, big stadium with uh, all the fans uh, behind, singing all the time. So, uh, very, very similar. The, the action is... Um, hard for me, the Scouse accent and the Geordie accent, so it doesn't matter. So very similar too. What's better, your, your Scouse or your Geordie? Both are really bad, believe me. So. <laughs> um, we heard from Jürgen Klopp earlier, he says that you two are in quite close contact, you, you speak very often. How would you describe your relationship with him? Quite good, it's true that um, we play against uh, Dortmund and uh, I met him sometimes in, uh, in Switzerland, with the, we go with the coaches, the, the UEFA coaches meeting and uh, and uh, still in contact with him. There is, during this transfer window, we were in contact when we talk about Winando. We were in contact, so yeah, good relationship with him. I think I think he's a he's a great manager. He's uh, doing a, a good job. And uh, what I said before, hopefully they can continue playing well. But uh, after this game, he's obviously made a lot of a lot of changes there, Jürgen. They're yet to win any silverware, do you think one day he will be able to replicate the, the kind of success that, that you had there? It depends on the time, I think he's doing well, uh, we were six years, we won four trophies, we played three finals, so um, it was quite a good period at this time, but I think he has the, the, the tools, the potential and he's working so hard, I think that they, they can win trophies, the problem now is that to uh, sustain the success, to be successful and sustain this success with the the top side that you have uh, in England, the money that everybody is spending is not easy, but uh, I think they have very good players, a good manager, uh, fantastic support from the fans, so I think they have everything to, to do well, but they have to compete against a top side that is not easy. How tough a task will it be to, to shut out their, their forward line? I know they've been missing a lot, a lot of chances recently, but they've, they've been creating lots as well. Yeah, it's true. People talk about that they are weak in defence, but um, they are so strong in attack that they can score goals in any game. They have a lot of chances every game. And then the main thing for us is try to be solid, don't give them the chance to create so many. So then uh, we can talk about uh, if they defend well or bad, but no, if they attack uh, bad because uh, they have chances and they don't take the chances. So hopefully we can be strong, we can be solid, but uh, we know anyway that they, they are very offensive, they are very creative in attack and uh, normally they have a lot of chances, so it will be a tough game. When you look back at their, their dealings in the transfer window at Liverpool, the, the fact that they managed to hold on to Coutinho despite the fact that they were mega 
box bids um, for him. Were, were you surprised by that? Were, were you impressed that they managed to hold on to him? Not really. I think that with the new owners, they have spent some money and um, they have a good team. So I understand some players when they are thinking uh, about to go because they have uh, big offers, but they still uh, continue in a very good uh, team, very good side, a very, very strong club. So then I think he will be fine and he's scoring goals already. So he's a, I know him because he was my player in Inter de Milan when he was a young player. And he's a he's a very good player, and to be there, I think he will be fine. And you can understand, as I said before, players receiving uh, massive offers, but uh, anyway, he's in a in a top side. Have you seen him improve since the jihad Inter? Yeah, for sure. He was 18, so now he's much better player, more experienced. Uh, he was um, very very shy at this time. Very nice lad, working very hard. He has the potential, he has the quality, so he was making the difference in the training sessions. I remember some, some of his uh, runs uh, with one of the senior players that he, he couldn't catch him. So mm-hmm. I was a very talented player and then has developed in a very good player because he has more experience. And just in terms of, of yourself, you said uh, a couple of weeks ago when you were on the good run, it's important that we don't get too far ahead of ourselves. I guess you'll say the same now after the, the, the defeat last weekend at the heads don't draw? Yeah, I don't like to to be right. I would like to, to win more games in a row and then have another problem. But the, the reality is that they, we knew that they, we could uh, we could lose games. We lost against uh, Brighton and then we have to change things quickly and then try to do our best against Liverpool. But be ready for anything because it will be a, a long season and then we will win games, we will draw games and we will lose games and we have to be prepared mentally to continue working hard, fighting and trying to do our best in every game and that's it. Rafa, just one for me in terms of team news, how's the squad looking ahead of the game? Like uh, two weeks ago, just uh, a couple of injuries, uh, Dumed and uh, Aidara, the rest of the players are, are fine, so problems for me, but uh, good problems. So Lejeune is, is available, he's, he's back ready? Yeah, he's fine. That's great, thank you. Yes. Rafa, how much of a, of a dent has, has the defeat at Brighton made to the players' confidence? We were a little bit upset for a couple of days because uh, we knew that we could do better, especially in the first half. The second half uh, was much better, but still we have to manage uh, uh, in a different way this uh, last 20 minutes when we were on top of them. And it's just uh, concentrate on what we were doing wrong and what we can improve, what we were doing right, and then try to stick with these things. So I think just a couple of days after that, they're just preparing the, the next game. You mentioned how creative Liverpool are in offence. Is that something that you feel Newcastle need more of? Yeah, if you want to have a good team, you have to find the balance between attacking and defending well. So. It depends also on the quality, it depends on the opponents, it depends on the way that the game is going on, if you score an early goal or you consider an early goal. But uh, we know that we have to improve a little bit uh, on the ball, uh, we create some chances, we have to take these chances. And we know at the same time that we are doing well in defence, but still we can improve. So a lot of uh, things that uh, we have been analysing and then we know that we have plenty of room for improvement and we have to carry on working in the way that we are working now. Might this be the sort of game that perhaps John Joe Shelby could make quite an impact in because he is quite creative in the team, quite important in that. Yeah, it's always you have to find the balance between uh, your attack and your defence, and we try to do that. And obviously, we know that John Joe is a is a great player. So if he's uh, doing well in a game, means that the team will be playing well. So then uh, he will have a, a chance for sure that uh, he can impress. I don't know if he's. From the beginning in this game, or maybe another one. Don't give any clue to Jurgen, but uh, yeah, he's uh, an important player for us. How important it would it be to have a, a, a decent result at least in this game going into the international break? Oh, we try to always to win. So I am not thinking about anything else to get three points. After it depends how the game is going on. Maybe one point is is uh, good enough, but uh, at the beginning, just try to get three points. And finally for me, do you think that Liverpool are realistic title contenders this season? I don't want to put pressure on, on them, but I think they have a very good team. The, the difference between the teams at the top of the table is not massive. It's just, uh, in this case, I would say they lost one player and they lost against Manchester City. Uh, but after they won against uh, Arsenal, so 
then you can see that the, they have the potential to compete. And if you have a little bit of luck, if they, the chances that they had, they had in these games, they could have scored. We will be talking about a different situation. So I think it's a great team uh, with great potential, but yeah, they have to compete against top sides too. Rafael, a lot has been made of the fact uh, in recent weeks about Liverpool's defence. Is some of that criticism unfair, do you think? The reality is that uh, because they are so offensive, they have uh, sometimes problems uh, in defence. And then I was talking in the past about the the short blanket. Then if you cover your head, you have your feet cold. If you cover your feet, you have your head cold. So then sometimes when you attack too much, so you are exposed in defence. And to find the balance is the key if you want to, uh, to have chances to win titles. So I think that they are working on that. And... Um, Still, I think that they, they will be very dangerous attacking, even if they make some mistakes in defence. They were away in the week to Russia. Long trip. You will know yourself what those trips can be like, how wearing they can be in, in the middle of the week. Could that have an impact on the game from your perspective? Hopefully, but uh, I'm not sure because they have a good squad, so they can change players and still they will have a, a very good team. So normally when I was there, I have the same questions and they say, oh, yeah, but you have a massive squad, so you can deal with that. So you have to say that now. OK. Um, and just finally, is this sort of, from your perspective, it must be quite an unusual game for you as a manager because not very often will you have all four sides of the, of the ground sort of in, in appreciation of you. You know, the Liverpool fans will, will come and, you know, will probably chant your name as well as the Newcastle fans. Hopefully, but um, what I would like is to, to have uh, our fans happy at the end of the of the game and the Liverpool fans happy at the beginning of the game so if both are happy for a while good but uh, I know uh, what I have to do and they know uh, the Liverpool fans so uh, I have a fantastic relationship with them but the Newcastle fans now they have to <coughs> enjoy it if they can Thank you very okay. much Thank you. Your <laughs> <laughs> We are trying to a little bit, and, and a bit, a little bit more longer. But was it? Was the explanation? So when you have normally depends on if you have a, a top side and, and then you have a lot of money, you can buy defenders, uh, strikers, keepers. It's fine. Your blanket is is quite big. When you are in a in a team that you don't have too much money, then you have a blanket. They say, oh, I need to sign strikers. Then you have a problem with your defenders, your feet, <laughs> and you move your to cover your feet, and the head is cold. So. That is the short blanket. That's your best one yet. Okay. <laughs> 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 <laughs>